This is quite literally the view out of the van door. We're near Blackwater Foot in a little park up. I mean, had an admin day, you know, emptying those tanks. Lindsay's gone off for a walk, and I've got a little friend who I'm hoping to get on video if he cooperates. And then, just to show you, is uh, me standing at the door and the uh, rocks to the beach there. My little friend seems to have disappeared, but I'll soon get him back with a few seeds. Uh, there's a robin. <laughs> he follows from one end of the car park to the other, shall we say. He parked at one spot and then the van that was in this spot moved. So we have still stolen it. At least I've stolen it. Lindsay's gone for a walk. But we're only seconds, seconds away from where we were. <laughs> As she comes back from a walk, she will see, I think. It's a lovely calm day and according to the weather forecast the calm before the storm so we'll see if there's any more footage from this park up <laughs> we may have to move we had planned to move further up the coast but uh, that depends we'll see how long Lindsay is on a walk and how things go but, uh, Today is a nice day weather wise. Blackwater Foot is a village on the Isle of Arran in the Firth of Clyde. The village is within the parish of Kilmory and it is located in the Shiskine Valley in the southwest of the island. It is one of the smaller villages of Arran and home to one of Europe's two 12 goal hole golf courses and home to a picturesque harbour and sandy beaches. This small village boasts beautiful views of the Mullock Tyre and a short walk from Blackwater Foot is Drummadoon Point, home to the largest Iron Age port on Arran. Further north is the King's Cave, reputed to be a hiding place of Robert the Bruce. And that damn spider is causing trouble even to today. Blackwater Foot is formed by a collection of buildings focused on Blackwater Foot Harbour, which in turn is where the clawn water drops out of natural rock weirs and flows under a stone bridge into the sea. Actually, you need to look quite hard to find the harbour itself. Aaron has a tendency to go in for tiny harbours, just as big enough for two or three very small boats, and this is a typical example of the the uh, type and it's barely visible even from the village's main car park that neighbours it.
Blackwater Foot lies at the western end of the String Road, built across the centre of Arran in 1817 by Thomas Telford, the other end emerging just to the north of Brodick on Arran's east coast. I'm sorry, your name? Jackie. Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Yeah. Jeff and Jackie. Jeff and Jackie. <sighs> this is a lovely couple that rescued me from my idiot otter <laughs> trip of going across the rocks. Thank you very much, Jeff and Jackie. You're both angels. You're welcome. Thank very you. Very nice to meet you. And you too. And this is nowhere near King's Caves. Lindsay did it again. She went the wrong way. Drummadoon Point you are at now. It's wonderful. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. And you, and enjoy the rest of your holiday. <laughs> so, I got down the hill. Get up a little bit. I got down the hill, and I turned right, and then I convinced myself I was going the wrong way, and I came across those rocks. Yes, David, it was stupid. Um, but I made it and I met this couple and they were going the other way from me and then all of a sudden I heard them come back whether they came back to look out for me or not I don't know but I do appreciate it because it was a bit stupid but I'm in one piece I didn't fall over but not for the want of trying so this is a view from where we're at this is the golf course and King's Caves. We'll have to wait for another time. When I bring my phone with me and I know what I'm doing. And in the distance, which you won't be able to see very well, I believe that's Goat Fell. I don't know. Could be anything. The path down here, or the path I actually used, was a bit dodge. It was wet, it was muggy and it was slippy and two <laughs> very miserable looking coos on it but I know the way back so I'm going to start heading back and get back to David because I've got no idea what we're doing if we're staying here or if we're moving on It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Here's today's assignment, the Lag Distillery, Isle of Arran.
there in the distance, Ailsa Craig, as seen from the distillery. We're just about to start our tour now. There we go. Lag Distillery. What a cracking, cracking distillery. Great tour, well worth it. Recommend. It's, I thought the Locranza one was the best one we'd been on. Now this is. And I'm still learning after all these years. Okay, we've got to get on with the tour. Thank you for watching Desmond's Dons and remember please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.